gonna make a quick video, show you how to connect a Grunfoss Go to a Grunfoss Pump. Right, so let's come back out of here. Right, you should have downloaded the Go Remote once you've got your Grunfoss Go. You'll see this um, select connection page. So you've got Bluetooth, radio, and infrared. Best way to connect is using um, IR infrared, so we'll press connect. It says no Grunfoss Go connected, so you just press OK. With your Bluetooth on, you should find that it will, it will locate where your accessory is. Give it a second. Oh, hang on, I haven't turned the button on. So you've got a little button there. Wait until the green light flashes. Now that should pick that up now. There we go. So you click on Grand Foss Go. Go, it says it's connected. Now what we're going to do is connect. So press connect on the app. Get the Bluetooth screen there or the IR screen and point that at the eye on the pump. Now if we notice it's just loading the data now for the pump. So just keep holding the run force go next to the eye and that will keep gathering all the data from this pump. Try not to um move out a signal you might lose the work you've done so once you've connected you can put the ground force go down as you've, it's connected to the pump so we'll have a look and see what's going on here the pump is um, a constant curve operating mode is normal it's got no warning lights it gives us the name of the pump so it's a tpe2 it can give us our heat energy and kilowatt hours and the power consumption uh, now if we click down here where it says reports, we can create a report, so we can create a title, so we'll say that this is, um, say Serena, Serena House, um, primary pump one. picture of the pump you say take photo that will give us the camera so we're going to take a quick picture sorry there we go we've got a picture as it will say use the photo so we'll use that sorry about this um, video look and I'm going to say author is right and then we'll do signature, create report. Now once we've got the report, look, we can go through it. We've got the picture. We've got a few in entry details here. It gives us all of, look, we've got the Serena House, rights, date that we did this on. It gives us the pump, the serial number, the product number, uh, configuration. It tells you about all the connections that I've made. Um, and then we can we can email and view a PDF. So I'll arch archive it first, and then I'll click on it, and then I'll have a little look via the PDF. So this is the layout of the PDF. It's quite efficient and professional when you're sending it off to um, people to have a look. But some pumps get locked at the BMS, so you might not be able to um, get the full scope of what's going on with the pump but that's that's how you connect it it's as simple as that once you've um, archived your your um, your report then you can you know you can close it out I'll just show you a little few other things to give us the alarm codes and warnings so you can see the logs but we've got zero of either so we don't really need to worry about that if you click on control mode you can manually control it or you can stick it into any of these um, You've got constant differential pressure, differential temperature, constant flow, constant level, constant value or constant curve. Um, you can have operating mood, mode, which is either stop, min, max, normal or manual. Uh, you've got settings here, so if we want to control any of these settings, we've got ramp up time, ramp down time, minimum um, operating range, the KPs. Um, buttons on the product are not active but we can change all that if we wanted to you've got analog inputs digital inputs 
So that's your inputs and outputs, signal relays, alarms, limits exceeded, motor bearing, monitoring active. You know, we've got everything here. There's not nothing that you can't see on these settings. And then if you get a little bit stuck, you've got assistant pump set up, assisted fault advice and Grunfoss guidance. Once you're happy with all that, you can just disconnect. That's it, and then you can go to your next pump and, you know, connect your next one. That's it. Cheers and gone.